haven't quite gotten there, James. I've got a bit distracted with one of our smaller creatures and a highly mobile squirrel. It's now just stopped for a second. And what have you got there? Looks like it's got a little nut that it's now feeding off. So it's amazing to watch these guys feed off these small nuts. You'll find they'll put them in in those large incisors that is common in the rodents. We'll be able to then crack that all open and get into the seed that's inside there. That will be the nutritious part of what they're trying to get. So watch how quickly it makes work and light of a little nut. You, we know as people how difficult it can be, but this little squirrel gets through it very quickly. There we go. Isn't that cool? He was moving quite quickly, and, or she, I can't tell just yet, and was jumping around all over the place on this fallen over tree, and obviously found something on the ground and then ran up into the tree to devour it. The reason why they often do this and sort of walk up onto the top of a tree like this when they feed is from there they're going to be able to see any predators that likely are around. Remember when they're, when they're feeding they're making noise and they also are a little bit distracted so they can't see or hear as well as they normally would and so if they fed on the ground they would have a threat of snakes, leopards, all kinds of other mammal predators as well as predators from the air. Now on the tree it can see what's going on and the only thing that would really try to get to it up there could potentially be a bird of prey but a bird of prey would have to be very careful because to dive bomb from a height to catch the squirrel unaware and actually hit it in a tree without damaging wings is very difficult so it makes sense for the squirrel to get there. Now it's been quite clever as it found itself a little bit of shade. Are you going to come down now and look for more food? Yep here we go. Down the tree it goes and it will just disappear into the grass once it comes down. So Rachel you say you love the little critters as much as you like the big ones and that is so true Rachel the little ones are just as fascinating and just as entertaining as the big guys and without the little ones we wouldn't have any of the big guys either they're all part of a system that fits together and works together very well and without one you can find that another one might collapse and you'll then have a knock-on effect so we have to appreciate that all the little ones are integrate part of this whole bush felt complex that we have both here in the Mara, well here in Juma and up in the Mara as well. 